Alright, <laughs> hello friends, welcome to Build and Run. This is a real VR podcast for Unity, Unity developers that know how to turn on their 360 video camera. Um, we are here at NYC VR University. This is a fantastic uh, community of Unity developers, aspiring Unity developers. Basically, anybody that's into VR is into Unity because you can't make one without the other. You probably, no, you can't. Just forget it. They come together. They're, they're, they're together um, and forever bound uh, by technology and the passion. And, and really, what it really, the reason that they're bound together is the community. It's not that there's no other VR software out there or there's any other um, thing that Unity can do, but it's because the community. Unity has one of the strongest and best communities out there, and this is an extension of that. Uh, and you guys are all part of it. So uh, smile at the camera, look around, wave, make some noise. Uh, and be witness, be part of the future, not just witness. Come and take over the future. This is your future, um, and you're all here at NYC VR University. So this episode, every other episode of um, Build and Run is brought to you by VRVU.com. It is a full-service VR digital agency. So we do uh, VR, AR, 360 video for you. Uh, you need something done in those fields, go to VRVU.com, use the contact form, you will be taken care of. So without, without any further ado, we're here to uh, go into interactive 360 video in Unity. Quite a complex topic. Uh, James Andrew gave us a fantastic uh, little intro, which is uh, absolutely a prerequisite. There's, there's a lot of terms that I'm going to go over, a lot of things that I'm just going to speed through quite, quite quickly. A lot of this I learned by testing and trying and doing it the wrong way, uh, getting really jittery video and, and all these errors essentially and that's what development is it's not about knowing the answer you're not a uh, what a, uh, an engineer you're not you're not a uh, somebody that already has the answer and you're just building you're not a, just a builder you're a developer and by developer it means that you are going to start with nothing and come out with something and from there uh, that is a very different process than just having essentially the blueprint and just doing it so what I'm gonna do is give you the blueprint so you can just do it <laughs> uh, why not um, so we're gonna start with First of all, Unity. Nothing could be here without Unity. What are we doing? Unity, come on. Unity3D.com, it's free. Literally go with Get Unity. You hit the personal edition, absolutely free. It is $1,000 um, a year piece of software. They charge you $1,000 a year to use this thing. It makes VR and 3D content for everything on Earth, every platform, every hardware, and they give it to you for free. Um, thank you, Unity. Thank you, Unity, from all of us, from the future, the future, the future generations that have made things with Unity because they've given it out to us for free and kind of lowered that barrier of entry. And on top of the free uh, software, they have Learn at Unity. So if you hit Learn at the Unity website, uh, they have these tutorials, which is basically the best way to learn it because not only have they made a fantastic software, they've made fantastic education, their certification, uh, all this good stuff. So we have Unity, we have Unity installed. This is a Unity scene. I've already imported a few things here to save time so that we can get something done, uh, hopefully here. Uh, but I'll go over basically everything I've imported. Uh, so, Unity certified, get Unity certified. This is the first thing I've imported. This is the most expensive thing in this lesson, $55. Imagine I told you $55 is the most you're gonna spend to make VR 360 video. Um, that's probably true, but you also have to buy the hardware. So if you're buying gear VR, that might be a little bit more. Uh, but it is nothing compared to just even the amount of money you can make uh, having a 360 video app. If you make a 360 film, record it in 360 video with one of these, and make a special app, which we're actually gonna do here today, um, power to you, and, and more power to you, because that is uh, that's what life is about. It's about taking and creating, using your imagination and actually doing something uh, with it. The other thing we need, we're gonna need 100%. And if you're going into 360 video, if you're going into any video ever, and you wanna be a professional, you wanna start doing anything with it, uh, it's FFFmpeg. How many Fs did I? FFF, FF, there's only two Fs in FFmpeg, all right? Uh, FFFmpeg, no wait, FFmpeg. The, th the third F is for fantastic. Uh, this, is, this is the software, it is command line. So it is the leanest, the fastest, the most free software 
works on cross-platform on every computer. FFmpeg, FFmpeg.org. It's open source. Every professional in the video industry uses this because it is, number one, the fastest. If you are rendering video, uh, you will notice once you start rendering video, it takes hours. If you don't want to spend hours, spend minutes using FFFmpeg. Wow. Our third F, it should have that. I'm going to start, I'm going to create FFFmpeg. And I'm going to uh, compete with FFF, F, the regular one. <laughs> uh, but it is absolutely the, uh, a video, a super fast video converter that converts from anything to anything else. Why is that important? Because you need to convert from one format to the other. Um, first and foremost, because Unity um, <laughs> drops things, but no, because Unity has... Uh, and Easy Movie Texture requires a certain format, uh, which it may not now because they might have been updated. But when I was using it, yeah, it needed a certain format. You need to convert from the format this theta s uh, outputs to the format that you need. Uh, and let's start talking about that a little bit. You know what? Let's shorten my time because I'm pretty sure I spent the whole bunch of time talking. That is correct. Um, yeah, so we're going totally freestyle. I don't know how much time I have left. It doesn't even matter. Uh, so I'm going to go over here into my 360 video. And I'm going to show you the video we're going to work on. It is one of my favorite videos uh, to this day. Hopefully it's the last one. It is not. Maybe it's open somewhere. Uh, you know where? Uh, it is the one we shot here as part of... Um, our t-shirt giveaway. We've, we uh, did a zombie apocalypse 360 video. We, uh, we're doing that a lot more often now. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You know what? Since I can't find it, I'm going to work with the video I've already done. Why not? Uh, and beautiful. Is it in here? It's in here. Uh huh. And I'm going to open this up. So this is the video as it comes out of the Rico Theta. Actually, no, it's not. This is already equal rectangular. Uh, this is a video shot similar to this with this 360 Theta, where uh, it's 360. So you take this video. This is the equal rectangular texture. This is the, the video projected out into a very standard format. And I even move my hands the same way as I did in this video. Um, I could actually re re <laughs> totally get mad about it. But yeah, so uh, this is it. You take this video. Uh, and this is going to be our source video. I have used FFFmpeg to convert it. Uh, and you use it also to change your bit rates, to essentially uh, compress it and make it optimized for mobile devices. So since you are using video on mobile, um, you have to take considerations. Yes, bless you. I should stop. And like, <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, but yeah, so you have to take considerations for... Um, the output device, which is not always super powerful. You can't always run a 4K video on a mobile device. It's just not gonna work. So you have to compress it, change the bitrate. FFmpeg does all of that. Um, and let's see if I have it installed here. I probably do. Come on, no, no, I do not have it installed. I was about to install it. I did not. It doesn't matter because this video is already converted. Uh, but basically, you do FFmpeg. Um, I like to refer... I found this, this article on the internet that is fantastic. It goes over a lot of the specifics, uh, the specific commands you need in FFmpeg. It's kind of dated, just like my workflow, um, which makes you realize just how much uh, work goes into 360 video that's interactive in Unity. So the, uh, this is Bernie Ro Roel. Uh, it's BernieRoel.com and 360 Stereo in Unity. Stereo is a little more uh, in depth. We don't need to get deeper into that. Uh, but basically, stereo is two, two eyes, uh, and this goes. This actually has a lot of the uh, the commands in FFmpeg. It also has a script to animate uh, the frames without buying the mobile movie texture. If you want to be cheap with your fifty-five dollars and be like, I have a better place to use my fifty-five dollars, and you don't want to get this uh, fantastic easy movie texture asset. This here has a script. You basically drop this right into Unity, and this uh, cycles your images for you, right? Without any money. Uh, 
pretty good tool. Uh, here we go. Here's the FFFmpeg commands that you will need. Come on now. I have a special button. <gasps> Look at that. Whoa. Extreme close up. Uh, and this is basically how FFM, FFFmpeg works. <laughs> I should have a recording and just hit the button like a, a, a sample. Um, it's an FFmpeg into your uh, command line. Uh, in my case, it is terminal. Then you put your original file uh, and you have, this is to extract the audio. So it used to be that uh, mobile movie texture didn't allow you to use the audio. So you have to do that manually like I did. So what I did was I have mobile movie texture and I have this equal rectangular sphere. Uh, I didn't use shaders because I, I thought it would be more um, efficient to just model a, a sphere with the normals flipped. I saved that model and I will give it to all of you for free because it is a very simple asset. And you, nobody should charge you for an inverted sphere because that's like charging you for a sticker or something, <laughs> you know. Um, so it is free uh, for you. I'll have it on the site on uh, both uh, nycvru.com and build and run, build run.com. Uh, so I'll have this. This is what you're going to use as a projector. So easy movie, uh, easy movie texture. Is that what it's called? Whatever. Easy that plugin we talked about. She could come up with a shorter name, right? Easy Movie Texture needs a texture to project onto. That's going to be this sphere. Uh, and the other thing we downloaded is cardboard. Cardboard is a great way to develop on a lower, lower end devices than the Gear VR. So a Gear VR is uh, essentially hardware almost exclusively made for VR. Um, you can get a little more ghetto. You know, we're in New York. Use words like ghetto. Uh, take your phone. Take a, a unofficial cardboard, or this is a Go 4D. Um, uh, viewer. So we call the cardboard viewer. Throw this onto your phone like that, and you have VR. Very simply, very cheaply, very affordably, and it works. That's what we're going to teach you now, if we have any time left. Um, so we import that. All we have to do is go into. If you Google the word Google cardboard SDK, cool. You'll get that cardboard for Unity. Import that. That's already been imported for you because I am trying to save time. Um, and I talk too much anyway. How much can I actually get done in 25 minutes if I'm sitting here downloading and importing things? I won't have enough time to talk, right? All right, so let's go. Uh, that's it. So basically, cardboard main. Puts you, uh, puts you in here. That's your camera. Around that camera, I put my sphere. I imported mobile movie texture. Texture. This should power off before you die. Um, imported mobile movie texture. What that does is that gives me. Um, do I have a script here? Their first normal. That's interesting. So I'll include that script with my. Uh, with the sphere that I give you. Um, so movie texture, mo 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 mobile movie texture comes with these two scripts. Uh, this is the movie you put in there. I've also used FFmpeg to flip the movie because the movie, as it comes out in 360 video, will be backwards the same way you look in a mirror and all the words are backwards. If that's important to you and you want to see words the way they are, you have to flip it uh, horizontally. So I used FFmpeg to do that. Uh, take and then also down sampling it. So for, um, for I might be wrong with this, but when I, last time I made 360 video, um, it didn't allow me to make anything more than 720p. Uh, that is still the case apparently. Um, so that's unfortunate. It's even more unfortunate if you put like a 1080p video, a giant file into your system, and it's not going to play it, or it's going to play it at 720. That's a waste. That's a Unity restriction, or that's a that's a mobile restriction, a Unity restriction. It's a, it's a restriction. Not anymore. Not anymore. I can play, yes. you can, I can play 3840 by 1920. Yes, on on the yeah. Oculus. No, on, on Android. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, through I'm Unity. 30 frames per second, but if it's 60 frames per second, the best you can do is 2880 by 1440. Yes. So exactly. So you do you, you end up tweaking it. You have to tweak the video to uh, essentially your output uh, target device. Yeah. You take it and you figure out what what it is, what device I'm going to use. If you're using like the newer Samsung products, you could definitely push it to the limit. Uh, from my phone is limited to HD, 1920 by 1080. Yes. So that's my, that's an issue. 
And it, this is always going to, like, you know, our ancestors will, will look back on this and be like, what are you talking about? Limits. Like, there's no limits in the future. You can have 4K in your contact lens. We don't have that now. So right now, we have the, whatever limitations we have in our devices. I don't know. I actually have it. My, con my digital contact lens is bothering me right now. <laughs> but no. Uh, so yeah, this is other limitations. So 720, in my case, I had to downsample it to make it uh, 720, uh, change the frame rate to really get a smooth video. And a lot of it is, is trial and error. You have to check it out, try it a bunch of different ways. So that's it. You do that, um, you have the full video. I had to manually uh, separate the audio and play it. So um, if you just take audio in Unity and you drop it onto something, it automatically creates an audio source, which is this. And I made my audio source the audio from the video. The audio from the video. Uh, very cool. And that's it. So this, if I build and run this onto my Android, this will give me what happened to my mouse? There you go. This would give me a 360 video um, in, in my Android. Um, this is the cheapest VR headset you could buy because it's just my phone. Um, my phone is free for me, you know? <laughs> uh, and and uh, $20 worth of, uh, worth of this uh, hardware. So that, you have 360 video. And then if we have some time, I'll show you how to make it interactive because the best part of VR is not just that you can sit there and experience VR uh, and look around, but you have agency, which means you can, if you decide to uh, go to chapter one or you decide to go to Egypt or you decide to go uh, do something, you're not just stuck in this world. You have technology around your face that judges where you're looking. That can be used by you as a developer to... Um, affect change. You can say if the person is looking at the button that says restart or says chapter one, take them to chapter one. If, if it says go to Egypt, if you look at the, the picture of Egypt, take them to Egypt. Um, and this is what's called interactive interactive 360 video, um, which is the next step. This is regular 360 video. The next part is interactive. And that's what changes. Uh, that's what Unity can do to nothing else. Like if you have 360 video, Cool. Can you interact with it? Can you make uh, menus? Can you make objects in it? If you go to uh, U visits demo, they have this uh, awesome like birds flying through it, like three D model birds and, and clouds. Fantastic stuff, and that's basically all Unity. You could not you do that without Unity. Uh, so this is the part of three sixty video that Unity not only excels in, it just dominates. Like what's the next level? There's no there's no competition when you go to make interactive 360 video, 100% Unity. And this is very fast for building. Um, hopefully, is this it's done recording. <gasps> it's still recording. We, we build and run here. It's about to happen. Um, very rarely do we actually get to build and run, which is ironic because the podcast is called Build and Run. Uh, it's like, you know, calling it Let's Eat and you never get to eat. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> This is uh, the build and run portion. This is the portion where um, the magic happens. The podcast is, is named after this button right here. Look at this button. <gasps> build and run. It's one of my favorite buttons in Unity. It is the magical button. That is the last button uh, that takes you from the world that you're, it takes you to that, to that spinning yellow. <laughs> it takes you from uh, building the scene to running it, from designing it and developing it to actually, uh, to actually this, what? There we go. Something happened. All right. Uh, to actually playing it. This might be upside down. Um, and that's so simply. That's very much it. Now, is it just going to save it in your video folder on your phone? No, this will save it as an actual app oh, cool. on my phone with its own icon, its own custom icon. This usually takes much faster. You know why it's taking so long? Because it's actually moving not one, but like four duplicate video files that I shoved in there because I was experimenting. So this is four times the amount of time that it should take. Um, enjoy. Because this part of Build and Run isn't just, oh, look at my finished product. It's, what do you do while it's loading? How do you kill time? How do you hang out with each other? How do you have a community? How do you um, yeah, wait for this impossibly long time, which is like very long. <laughs> you know, it really shouldn't be this long. 
Um, basically, it's going to come down to how what kind of curses can you scream at the at the uh, at the computer before how much profanity. <laughs> On your build and run uh, website, you have videos, 360 videos you can hit and play and all that. Yes. Well, is that a special player? Like, no, not at all. Um, that is, we'll actually go into that a little more because I have some great plans for that. Uh, we're going to be partnering with Little Star very shortly, hopefully. Uh, I don't want to jinx anything. Right now, I put them on YouTube. Uh, th with this 360 video, once you make it, uh, you b record it on this 360. Let me know when this is done. This is still going. Oh, my God. <laughs> this might be broken. <laughs> um, oh, it's oh, built and run. Look at that. Yeah. And there will be time to answer all questions. Where did this go? What kind of viewer do you have there, Len? This is called the Go4D. We were originally selling these as part of our, uh, uh, our meetup. But now we uh, we will have unofficial cardboards at the next one. Okay. Uh, and the 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 uh, what is it? The sound is coming through my earpiece. And as you can see. <coughs> <laughs> yes. So this this is it working. Uh, whoa! In less than twenty minutes, we have regular video. Let's see if we get interactive. I mean, I doubt it. We're gonna get cut off. So um, enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, 360 video in less than 20 minutes. Thank you. And now let's get crazy. Uh, turn down the volume and then let's get crazy. If we get crazy with the full volume, we'll like actually pop an eardrum. So the next thing is, you already have cardboard in here. Cardboard main. That's excellent. I personally love cardboard main, but what I like even more is cardboard main. Whoa. I go to downloaded samples on the same Google Cardboard. I like the demo in Unity. Um, I can actually do this manually. By the time I wait for this to download, you know what, I'll just take it. Uh, you know what, I'll do it manually. I'll, I'll show you both ways, whatever. Uh, the cardboard main alone lets you look around. The demo that they have allows you to actually select things. I went over this in the gaze control uh, session, but this is the next level. So not just look around, but now select things on a menu. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, um, you know what, I'm gonna do it manually. I'm gonna show you basically, now I'm gonna take, their example scene gives you some such cool things that I, I, don't, I don't wanna go through it all by myself because I want to, oh, look at this demo scene. So I go into this demo scene. So if I go into Cardboard Unity's uh, Cardboard SDK demo scene, I will find myself this demo scene, right? And this is the folder structure. So you go into Cardboard, demo scene, and there's a demo scene right there with the Unity icon. I open that up, and compiler errors, you say, Gaze responder, really? Wow, uh, that's ridiculous. This might be because I have different versions of Cardboard installed. Uh, cardboard has done some stuff, some magical stuff with their, uh, with their um, SDK. Huh? Constantly updating it. Yes, they're constantly updating it. Uh, so. What happened here was that the actual cardboard plugin is super old, but I grabbed the brand new demo scene and the demo scene is like, listen, man, your cardboard plugin is super old and I'm gonna crash until you import the new one. So it proceeded to crash. 